Enforcement agencies across the state face a major weapons recall today. They must return certain military surplus items they receive from the Department of Defense. Now, this is a program investigative reporter Ben Hall has been following for more than a year now. Well, today, agencies across the state received this memo ordering them to return bayonets, grenades, and weapons launchers. It, they, they're all been deemed inappropriate for law enforcement. Incredibly, four Tennessee police departments have ordered bayonets from the military surplus program. But now they must send them back to the Department of Defense. They have to return the equipment. There, there aren't any exemptions being granted. That's uh, an executive order has, has been issued. David Robertson says the directive came from the federal government. The memo also orders local departments to return grenade launchers and tracked armored vehicles like tanks. Many were items used in wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and obtained by local police departments at little or no cost. And so what we've seen is just a massive, massive transfer of, of, of gear, of guns, you know, um, vehicles, armor, you know, other weaponry. You must disperse immediately. Concern about the surplus program rose after people witnessed the police response to protesters in Ferguson, Missouri. President Obama signed an executive order limiting the program and ordering this recall can alienate and intimidate local residents and send the wrong message. Our investigation discovered that the Tennessee Highway Patrol ordered 135 bayonets back in 2009 from the military surplus program. The head of the THP told us last year they were getting out of the program and said his department had no use for the bayonets. They were getting all this junk, tents, bayonets, stuff like that, that I, I can't see any reasonable need for it. The state says five Tennessee law enforcement agencies must now return the grenade launchers they received through the surplus program. And 11 departments must return track armored vehicles. Uh, this is our newest armored uh, protective vehicle. The recall does not include mine resistant vehicles used overseas to protect soldiers from roadside bombs. Lebanon Public Safety was one of several local departments that got one of those vehicles. The situations we would use this vehicle in would be for hostage negotiations, you know, putting this vehicle between uh, the bad guy and the good guys. The Department of Defense will actually send a flatbed truck to pick up those armored vehicles. All of this equipment must be returned by April of next year, so they do have some time to figure all of this out. That's good, but what a mess. That's right. All right, thank you, Ben.